Hello everyone! Today I'm going to clean the kitchen. Like almost everyone whose kitchen is open and has no clear boundary with a living room, we, mm, me, spending here the most of time. And like in all crowded places, the most of things happening here. So logically, it accumulates also more dirt. On the other hand, no one wants a dirty kitchen. Long story short, I'm usually tending more to the spot cleaning than entire scrubbing. I'm wiping immediately when something is splashed, spilled or crumbled, because for me it's much more easier to maintain than to make a total reset, which is exhausting. But today I am in that mood of moving the mountains. And also several of you wanted to see me cleaning the kitchen, so feast your eyes. Like a first thing, I'm removing everything what don't belong there. Of course, I will be cleaning all the outer surfaces, but also more in detail those items holders trees which are always visible on the countertop. Saving the time, all what is suitable and contains in the dishwasher, go there. What happened here? I'm soaking a milk for the parts overnight, just like a dentaries. My tip, make both sides wet when washing a cutting board. It saves from warping. I will be cleaning from the top to the bottom because it is well knowing how the gravity works. It affects also the dirt. So it's the most reasonable to begin cleaning from the highest part and avoid lower parts cleaning twice. When cleaning, I'm beginning from the distant edge and I'm moving towards the sink. For maintain metallic surfaces, over the kid I'm using this one Inox Cleaner. It removes all the grease and dirt and leaves the surface streak-free and shiny. And one bottle lasting me for ages. A cooker hood from inside I'm simply steaming only with water. It helps to soften a grease residue. Woven boxes are both decorative and practical for coral the things, and I love them. But oh boy, they are also shedding and getting dusty.
I love this station and we are really using it multiple times a day. However, it gets dusty inside and outside. Tomorrow morning. I'm still wondering about quantity of dust and speed in which it appears here in Luxembourg. Or I'm getting old because the dust is faster than me. Soon I'll be disguised. Back to the dust. I have a habit to put my utensils under the water every time before I'm dipping them into a food. But now and then I have to wash also those just occasionally used because they are getting really dusty. As I still wish to stay alive, I decided better to continue the day after. Glow brings me comfort. I'm filled with light. Tiptoe dance with me through the shadow play. Moon, I'm on my way. Shooting stars. I'm always wondering why I visually clean surfaces, making my racks look so dirty. And speaking of cleaning racks, I'm using water absorbing wipes, washable at 60 degrees and biodegradable. For very stubborn, dirty spots, I'm always surprised about the power of a magic eraser. Sometimes I have impression that all what I'm doing all the time is cleaning those glasses, as it's incredible how far can go the droplets of a soapy water. I remember I got the comments where somebody was very skeptical that I'm staging our home for my videos and showing only the new things. See? All ceramics are the same and still not chipped. Shame on me. and the paper tower holder we have probably for decades. The ceramic sink is meant to be cleaned with the dishwashing liquid only. I don't know how about you, but I'm not getting it look clean only with it. For me, the scoring milk does a better job.
what? Remember me cleaning this glass? Never ending story. of weeks ago I finally joined the community of the cordless vacuum cleaner owners. Yuppie! So here is the final result, one clean kitchen. To wrap it up, although I love the feeling that all nooks and crannies are spotless at once, I prefer to clean as I go and to keep maintaining as it less tiring for me and less time consuming. And how your kitchen cleaning shadows look like. I hope you enjoyed my clean kitchen. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Edit.